Your credit score is one of the most important measures of your financial health. It tells lenders at a glance how responsibly you use credit. The better your score, the easier you will find it to be approved for new loans or new lines of credit. A higher credit score can also open the door to the lowest available interest rates when you borrow. If you would like to boost your credit score, there are a number of quick, simple things that you can do. While it might take a few months to see an improvement in your credit score, you can start working toward a better score in just a few hours. Why does a good credit score matter? Credit scores measure your ability to manage debt. The higher your score, the more responsible you appear in the eyes of lenders. An 850 credit score, for instance, is considered to be a perfect score using the FICO model. What does a high credit score get you? The simplest answer is better loan terms and easier approval. A good or excellent credit score will save most people hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of their lifetime. Someone with excellent credit gets better rates on mortgages, auto loans, and everything that involves financing. Individuals with better credit ratings are considered lower-risk borrowers, with more banks competing for their business and offering better rates, fees, and perks. Conversely, those with poor credit ratings are considered higher-risk borrowers, with fewer lenders competing for them and more businesses getting away with high annual percentage rates, APRs, because of it. Additionally, a poor credit score can affect your ability to find rental housing, rent a car, and even get life insurance because your credit score affects your insurance score. How to build good credit Luckily, there are several steps that you can take to improve your credit score. Some of them may be things you work on over the course of weeks or months. Others are doable in a single day and will help your credit improve quickly. 1. Review your credit reports. 2. Get a handle on bill payments. 3. Use 30% or less of your available credit. 4. Limit requests for new credit. 5. Pad out a thin credit file. 6. Keep your old accounts open and deal with delinquencies. 7. Consider consolidating your debt. 8. Track your progress with credit monitoring. Each of these steps, whether short-term or long-term, will help you improve your credit score and build good credit. Here's a closer look at what's involved in each step of the process to build good credit and how long you can expect each step to take. 1. Review your credit reports. Estimated time, 1 to 3 hours. Before you can work on improving your credit, it helps to know what might be working in your favor or against you. That's where checking your credit history comes in. Pull a copy of your credit report from each of the three major national credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, then review each report to see what's helping or hurting your score. Factors that contribute to a higher credit score include a history of on-time payments, low balances on your credit cards, a mix of different credit card and loan accounts, older credit accounts, and minimal inquiries for new credit. Late or missed payments, high credit card balances, collections, and judgments are major credit score detractors. How often should you check your credit score? You should check your credit score regularly to check for errors, but make sure that you do so through soft inquiries so that your score isn't dinged. Many banks offer free credit monitoring to their customers. Check with yours to see if you can enroll in their service and get alerts whenever your score changes. How can you quickly improve your credit score? Improving your credit score can take time and you likely won't see a huge increase overnight. However, you can potentially speed up the process by having our revolving credit as much as possible to lower your credit utilization percentage, inaccurate things removed, especially late payments, or being added as an authorized user to someone else's old account, with perfect payment history, ideally with a low utilization rate. Ideally, this is done by a friend or relative, and they do not even have to give you the card. 2. Get a handle on bill payments. Estimated time, 1-2 to two hours. More than 90% of top lenders use FICO scores to make credit decisions. These are determined by five distinct factors. Payment history, 35%. Credit usage, 30%. Age of credit accounts, 15%. Credit mix, 10%. New credit inquiries, 10%. As you can see, payment history has the biggest impact on your credit score. That is why, for example, it's better to have paid off debts, such as your old student loans, remain on your record. If you paid your debts responsibly and on time, it works in your favor. 3. Aim for 30% credit utilization or less. Estimated time varies based on total debt and monthly payments. Credit utilization refers to the portion of your credit limit that you can use at any given time. After payment history, it's the second most important factor in FICO score calculations. The simple way to keep your credit utilization in check is to pay your credit card balances in full each month. If you can't always do that, then a good rule of thumb is to keep your total outstanding balance at 30% or less of your total credit limit. 
From there, you can work on whittling that down to 10% or less, which is considered ideal for raising your credit score. Another way to improve your credit utilization ratio asks for credit card limit increases. Raising your credit limit can help your credit utilization, as long as your balance doesn't increase in tandem. Most credit card companies allow you to request a credit limit increase online. You'll just need to update your annual household income. It's possible to be approved for a higher limit in less than a minute. You can also request a credit limit increase over the phone. 4. Limit your requests for new credit and the hard inquiries with them. Estimated time varies on how often you need access to credit. There are two types of inquiries into your credit history, often referred to as hard and soft inquiries. A typical soft inquiry might include you checking your own credit, giving a potential employer permission to check your credit, checks performed by financial institutions with which you already do business, and credit card companies that check your file to determine if they want to send you pre-approved credit offers. Soft inquiries will not affect your credit score. Hard inquiries, however, can affect your credit score adversely for anywhere from a few months to two years. Hard inquiries can include applications for a new credit card, a mortgage, an auto loan, or some other form of new credit. The occasional hard inquiry is unlikely to have much of an effect, but many of them in a short period of time can damage your credit score. Banks could take it to mean that you need money because you're facing financial difficulties and are therefore a bigger risk. If you're trying to raise your credit score, avoid applying for a new credit card for a while. Does avoiding hard inquiries raise your credit score? Yes. Having hard inquiries removed from your report will boost your credit score, but not drastically so. Recent hard inquiries only account for 10% of your overall score rating. If you have erroneous inquiries, you should try to have them removed, but this step won't make a huge difference by itself. Improving your credit score is a good goal to have, especially if you plan to either apply for a loan to make a major purchase, such as a new car or home, or qualify for one of the best reward cards available. It can take several weeks, sometimes several months, to see a noticeable impact on your score when you start taking steps to turn it around. You may even require the aid of one of the best credit repair companies to remove some of these negative marks. But the sooner you begin working to improve your credit, the sooner you will see results.